Is this some kind of spiritual trap? Yuna! Muse! Crow! Fee! Laura! Celine! Can anyone hear me? <clears throat> My eye. It burns. Yet the pain is so familiar. I think this is as far as we can go. Sorry, we couldn't make it to the end with you. Crow? 
Millium? Maybe you're right. If I'd made even one mistake, this is how it could have ended. But even so... Swords are without form and exist within oneself. If you have need of your blade, you need only to grasp it in your mind. I refuse to accept it. That is not my story. I will cut down this ignoble end! Instructor! Rain! Sheesh! Don't scare us like that, man! Guys... Sorry for worrying you. I'm fine. I promise. Well, you sure don't look fine. I hear you. But unfortunately, that's going to have to wait. We need to deal with him first. He's most likely the true king of the new world we were warned about. No! Is he another fake? But there's... You gotta be kidding me. Why does he look just like... <laughs> Zoa Balor? Didn't that disappear with Elisa's dad? Yeah. Nothing about this is rational. Steal yourselves for a fight, everyone! Whoever our opponent is, he clearly has answers we need if we're to get to the bottom of all that's happening. We need to take him in! Right. We won't let him escape. He's strong. Unbelievably so. I think we finally managed to subdue her. So powerful. I fear he really is. He's using every last drop of the power that lay within the sacrifice. Damn. If only our Divine Knights were still with us. That's not all. Every time he and Reen strike one another. Is this the resonance phenomenon Rose told us about? It's less like resonance and more like assimilation. Reen, fall back. We can handle this. No. I want to do this alone. I'm sure you've already noticed, but there's still a wall inside myself that I want to overcome. So I want to be the one to finish this. For my own good, more than anything. Reen, you... You're planning to use that power that remains inside yourself? Could I leave the combat shell to all of you? Guess I can't blame you for wanting to clean up your own mess, so to speak. Alright, get to it. Don't you dare lose, Instructor! It's a funny feeling to face my sacrificial self. I think this is how I felt before the trial to become a divine blade, too. I still
still hold fear in my heart. Something weighs heavily upon you. The fear that this power has always been in control of me, and not the other way around. But your specific power still remains, correct? It's not something I can reject, either. Not after everything they did to leave me this legacy. All is one, and one is all. I am one with everything, which means... No matter what happens, I will never lose myself. However my form might change, I'm still me. Change! Spirit unification! I'm happy we had the chance to cross swords. <laughs> he did it! That was impressive blade work. What was that? It felt like something not of this world. Right now, I'm more concerned about his face. I knew it. Instructor? <sighs> Just who are you? I am. I am. Reem. Reem. Schwar. No. My name is... <gasps> a lost name? How is this even possible? I have a bad feeling about this. Let's just grab him, Reen. Right. He's weakened. This is our... <laughs> Thor's... Class seven. <sighs> Despite everything. <laughs> what a hand to be dealt by the goddess. I don't know what you're talking about. But that's why you're about to tell us. What is the goal behind the United Nation of Crossbell? Heed my words, unenlightened fools. You're about to witness a new beginning. The start of a tale of truth. Of creation. Heed my call. Soa Gilstein, the Seerith Knight! Overwhelming power! Hey, Yuna. You say? You've sure grown a lot in half a year. What? I hope life as a bracer is treating you well, Fee. As for you, Laura. I'm sure you can catch up to Reen if you put your mind to it. Your unwavering loyalty is one of your best qualities, Selene. Thank you. And Crow. 
I never even considered that was a possibility. The hell are you? I'm glad I could meet you all like this. The next time we see one another, you better be ready to cut me down. I don't even know what's going on anymore. You okay, Reen? Are you feeling the after effects of the technique from earlier? Stay with us! I'm... I'm okay. I'm more concerned about these... unexplainable chills going down my spine. They must be a sign that the truth... is finally close at hand. I never expected to find something like this in the Castle of Mirrors. I'm just glad everyone's alright. Sounds like you've been through a real ordeal. It isn't just his strength that has me feeling uneasy. There was something intrinsically ominous about our foe. Yeah. We might have underestimated what we're up against. So, this light is coming directly from the spirit veins? Yeah. Selene said that the Castle of Mirrors is a pseudo-spirit shrine of sorts. And that's gotta mean... I think it's safe to assume that the Zeroeth Knight was being kept here, yes. I haven't got the first clue what this device is for, though. At this stage, all we have to go on is that it is also using the power of the spirit veins. Have you managed to learn anything more, Professor? <laughs> Don't ask like I'm some amateur. Further analysis will be necessary, but it appears to function similarly to the projector that we found in Nord. However, its purpose is orders of magnitude more complex. Well, that doesn't sound good. You're telling me. I'm afraid I'm completely lost. It's receiving significantly more power from the spirit veins than the device in Nord. What it is doing is on a much larger scale. Until we know exactly what that is, we must handle it with extreme caution. Still, it is also clear that this device is responsible for jamming communications in this region by way of the sonorous seashell. I thought so. That function, at least, I see no risk in disabling. Shall I? Yes, please do. I'm convinced that all we did here was catch a glimpse at a mere fragment of the truth. We're not going to be able to handle this alone. We're going to need help. Very well. But our enemies will no doubt be able to detect that we have disabled it. Be aware of that fact. It appears there's still more in the shadows that we haven't yet seen. Agreed. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? An emergency call from the guild? I'm getting one from an intelligence division secure line as well. Whoa! My arc is just... The hell's going on? Thus do I call upon our good neighbors, Calvert and Erebonia, to make known their intent of joining our nation. They have until noon tomorrow to comply. He's not. What is the Supreme Leader planning? Is he hijacking orbital waves to broadcast this statement? You've got to be kidding me. Only the sonorous seashell is capable of something like that. Surely they aren't capable of producing perfect replicas of artifacts? Impossible. That technology was lost 1200 years ago. The world isn't capable of something like that. Not yet. <laughs>
replicas, reproductions, beings that defy the very laws of reality. I feel like I'm finally starting to understand exactly what we're up against, which means that our next play should be... I think it's going through. Lloyd, do you read me? 